Dan Stewart was pick me up and we would go skateboarding all the time. He would try to like, uh, he would call it walking the line with me. He'd wake up, he'd come to my house, sneak in my window, whatever, and like we're walking the line today. And and, I won't, and that meant for him, it's like to put me in a position that I may kill myself, you know? And he used to do that, all, you know, that bridge photograph. I and mean, that was also like him making me walk the line. And he put me in his weird predicaments all the time and tried to like get me killed in a roundabout way and hopefully film it if it happens. That, that's the, the, the over where right before the 805 and the five break, that bridge. We, we, we snuck up to that bridge, we built a little quarter pipe, I put it on a board and we snuck in the middle of the night and put it up against the thing and then went back home. And then the next morning, I crawled on my belly on a skateboard for like 10 minutes to get to that spot. And Stuart, dressed up as a freeway worker with the Caltrans jacket on, he had a little walkie-talkie. We, we did the trick, I didn't kill myself, obviously. Uh, we took it and when we were done, then, we, then me and Dan did a self-portrait of like the victory and the bridge in the background. How sweet is that? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, lo I loved filming with Dan, and I, 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 I felt, uh, I, I, I just felt a connection to him and, and to what, we were, what was going on, and, and he, did, he did push it, but he made things interesting.